This is the Revelation series. There's a link in the description area below underneath this video for the rest of the series. So far we've learned that John, one of the disciples of Jesus Christ, was the one that the Lord decided to give this book to write. John was shown and he heard the voice of the Lord telling him what to write. The Lord talked to the John about the church of Ephesus. This church kind of backed off and became more worldly and they stopped baptizing people. But the, overall, the Lord was generally pleased with them. Next, the Lord uh, spoke to John about the church of Smyrna. Now, it's important when trying to understand when the Lord is talking to uh, John about these churches, that we should also think about ourselves personally, because it's not just a group of people that he's addressing. We are his church, his individual temples, his individual churches. So we need to think about ourselves also too, as he speaks to these churches. Now the church of Smyrna, he was talking about that some of us will have to go through tribulation and even go to prison for not denying that the Lord Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Now, the Church of Pergamos, uh, the Lord uh, was kind of on the, you know, he was on the, the tip of the um, doctrine of Balaam and uh, Balak, which is Prosperity, basically, chasing after money. And the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which is the worshiping of idols. That's actually bringing idols into the church. Next, the Lord spoke to John about the church of Thyatira. And how they have allowed Jezebel to come into the church. Jezebel is, is, is a prophetess. And uh, she teaches and seduces the servants of God to commit fornication and eat things sacrificed unto idols. Now, all of these things are happening in churches today. Next is the church of Sardis, where the, the Lord is uh, warning John to tell us that uh, we need to work on things that uh, are shortcomings before him and to strengthen you know, strengthen ourselves into the in the Lord, and not to turn our back on Him in any way, but to always uh, strive for perfection in the in the the love and the righteousness of God. The Church of Philadelphia, the Lord is uh, telling John to instruct us to keep His word and to overcome, and that He is coming quickly. There are many in the church of Laodicea that are rich, very rich people in this church. But the Lord says th uh, that I counsel you to buy of me the gold tried in the fire. There are a lot of people that are walking around with a Fancy cars, big houses, and lots of rich, uh, nice clothes. But they are naked before God. He says that also to that he loves those who he corrects. And that's what he says to the seven churches, which are us as individuals also too. The next in chapter four, he um, talks to, shows John, heavenly worship where John actually goes into heaven and sees the 24 elders, the four beasts and um, rainbow, the most high God and everybody's worshiping him. And there's thousands upon thousands times thousands times 10,000 times 10,000 of angels. And many of us are there also too. Next is the book of the lamb, which our names are written in hopefully. And now we're where the Lord is opening the six seals. And I'm only going to read the first two verses of chapter six. And we'll continue on um, in the 
in the Revelation series. But these are heavy, so I'm not going to go too fast. Something that we all need to meditate on. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals. And I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts saying, come and see. Now, if we remember from the previous chapters, the four beasts are as ma a man, a lamb, a lion, and an eagle. And all of them are full of eyes. Number two. And I saw and behold a white horse. And he sat on him. He that sat on him had a bow. And a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. I have no idea when these things will happen, but I do know that a crown is a corona. And what you use a bow for are to shoot arrows. And you conquer with those arrows. Please hit the thumbs up, the like button, if you like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you like. And leave a comment in the comment section on what you think about the video. Guys, have a great day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And check out the rest of the series.